my name is Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel and welcome to part one of my epic pin mail and birthday present haul. Um, I have some of my grail pins to show you guys today and um, also a few birthday presents that I got because my birthday was the 4th of July. Um, and the reason I say part one is because I received some money from my best friend Hannah, which I will talk about a little later in the video, but um, I bought some really cool stuff with that money. So I'm just waiting for that to all arrive and then I'm gonna do a part two because I couldn't wait any longer to show you guys what I have in front of me because it's so, so good. So um, I'm going to start with a pin that I literally have wanted for years and I finally have it now and I'm so happy I found it on eBay and it is this beautiful Raja pin with a jasmine bow. It is from the Studio Store Hollywood. It is a limited edition of 400. On the back here, you can see the Mickey waffling and then it says LE 400 right there. So hopefully you guys can see that. I am trying something different with my lighting because as you guys know, I got a ring light for my birthday from my stepdad and I love the light that it gives, but um, it shows the reflection of the light in my glasses. So I'm trying it from a different angle. So I'm hoping that it's not making it too hard to see the pins themselves. So definitely know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, because I want to make sure you can actually see the pins too. I just didn't like that you could see the uh, reflection of the light in my glasses. So any um, thoughts, any ideas, any anything would be greatly appreciated. So just definitely let me know. Um, but this pin is just, oh, it's so pretty. I have a few of the other pins in this series as well. Um, I have Chip with the yellow bow. I have Pascal with the pink bow. And then I have Lewis with the green bow. So I'm so happy to add Raja to my collection because one of my favorite pin collections is Jasmine and Raja. I have a shelf. Um, so yeah, that is the first pin. Next, I have the most epic fantasy pin I have ever seen in my life. It has quickly become like a pin that's in my top five favorite pins in my whole collection, which is really hard to do. Um, it is from Double Trouble Fantasy Pins. So I will of course link their information in the description box down below. It is part of their Sidekick Snacks series. It is huge, it is beautiful, it is perfect. It is Lewis with Mickey head beignets. Let me see how I can do this, there we go. And it is a pin on pin, it's huge. It's literally the size of my palm and it is perfect. He has two beignets there on his tummy, one in his hand. He has powdered sugar around his mouth. And I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but there is, where is it? A little hidden Mickey right up there. I will post a picture of this on my Instagram as well, Magical Martini, um, so that you can see that up close. And then on the back, it has their stamping, stamp back, backing, oh, I don't know, words. Um, and it is a LE of 25, has three pin posts. And this is actually going to be going up on this board up here because it is too perfect to not have displayed in my background so that I can see it every single day. I need to appreciate it because like I said, it is in my top five favorite pins of all time now. So um, definitely check this shop out. I know that they've had six pins released in this series. I think they're doing maybe a monthly or bi-monthly series. Um, so I think there's gonna be more I don't know if there's any of him left, but um, this whole series is really, really cool. So depending on who they release, I might have to get more, especially if it's like Lumiere and Cogsworth. But anyway, this is my Lewis. He's perfect and I love him. Next, I have three pins that I got from Artland, which used to be Acme. They are all limited edition 250 and they are all Toy Story. So I'm going to start with 
one of my favorite Toy Story characters of all time. It's Rex. He's looking so cute. And these come with a certificate of authenticity in the back. And the really cool thing about these is that they come numbered. So here is the certificate of authenticity. It's a limited edition of 250. Here's the front, that is the site. And of course I will link that down below. But in the back here, you can see their backing. And then it says officially licensed pin from Artland, Disney Pixar, Disney all rights reserved, limited edition 250. And it is number 35 of 250. You can see that there on the bottom. So that's a really, really cool thing. I think these are the only Artland pins I have. If I do have other ones, I'm unaware that they are Artland or formerly Acme. But um, I'm really excited to add these to my collection. So I have two more. The next one is a Buttercup, which if you know me, it is no surprise because I love unicorns. I love Buttercup. And my favorite part is his heart nostrils. Like, oh my God, it's so cute. And he looks perfect with that baby blue backing. Love it so much. And then the last pin that I got is of course, Lotso, one of my absolute favorite villains. He looks so happy and cute here. And I am always excited to add a new Lotso pin to my collection because they're kind of hard to come by. Um, a lot of people hate him, but I love him so much. So just to recap, these are the three Toy Story Artland pins that I got and I love them. Um, okay, now we are going to move on to a present that Kyle gave me for my birthday. So if you watched my previous uh, collective haul video, I believe is what I titled it, um, you will see me unboxing this gorgeous Jasmine and Raja Jim Shore. Kyle gave that to me as an early birthday present. And then the night before my birthday, so on July 3rd, he gave me this present and he wrapped it so cute. Like he did this like special wrapping with like construction paper and tape and kind of did his own thing and spray painted it. So I'm gonna include pictures of that on my Instagram again at Magical Martini. So check that out if you want to. And inside was this. Oh my goodness. I have been wanting this since the moment that I saw it. It is a three pack of Funko Pops and it is the hyenas from The Lion King, Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. And I just love them so much. If you can see up here, I have the Lion King Funko box. And on top of that, I have my Scar Funko. So what I'm going to do is put Shenzi and Bonsai next to Scar and then put Ed, my favorite, of course, um, in front of the box, kind of on his own, because he's always kind of off doing his own thing, like scratching or laughing or whatever. So um, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to put these in my background since the moment he gave it to me. So I couldn't wait any longer. This is the main reason why I wanted to do this video in two parts, because um, I just wanted to show you guys these so I can put them in my background and enjoy them. And they're just, oh, look at how cute they are. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the boxes because it is rather loud and then show you close-ups of them. Okay, so for starters, they came with this gorgeous backer card of Pride Rock. I love this so much. I'm trying to figure out if I can find a way to use this in my background somehow because this is really cute. If not, I'll use it in a scrapbook or something um, because it's just too pretty not to keep. Love that. Okay, so here they are. This is Shenzi, played or voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Here is the back of her. So cute. Here is Bonsai, and he's just kind of the one that's always hungry and always following after Shenzi and just kind of her little minion in a sense. And then we have sweet, goofy Ed with his tongue sticking out, who just likes to scratch a lot and laugh a lot, which doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't sound too bad. Love him so much. 
So those are amazing. Thank you so much, babe, for my epic birthday presents. I love them. And the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video today is this beautiful wallet. It is Kate Spade, which I've never owned anything Kate Spade in my life. Um, and it is just, it is so pretty. My best friend Hannah gave this to me when she came up to visit me on my birthday. And in the front here, you have Minnie Mouse's ears and her bow. And it says Kate Spade, New York, which fun fact, I was born in New York, so that's cool. Then it opens and inside you have a few card compartments and a money compartment with a cute little polka dot interior. And then oh, uh, this little uh, take care pamphlet. So telling me how to properly handle this. And on the back, there is a zipper compartment for change. Again, has that polka dot lining. And then the very back has a card holder. And um, this is like the absolute, here's the tag, the absolute best like park um, wallet. I'm definitely gonna use this one anytime I go to the parks because it's a lot smaller than my normal wallet, but it has enough space for like my credit card or two depending on how much money I want to spend, my rewards card, my pass, my driver's license, and then money, and then also change, because I do like to get the smushed pennies. So, um, so yeah, this is so perfect. And inside, she was going to put a $100 Disney gift certificate, but she couldn't find it or didn't have time to go. I don't remember which one it was. So she just put a $100 bill in here, and I immediately went to eBay and bought a bunch of things that I have been wanting that have been on my wish list. So a few of them have already arrived, but I decided to just wait until they are all here and then do a part two of this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. And we have reached the end of the video. Um, please let me know what your favorite item was. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below because I really do love connecting with you guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you love Disney. And if you're returning, thank you. I love and appreciate you so much. And I hope that you all have the most magical day. Bye.